We'll just see. Are you recording now? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just... is an open letter to people who complain about shows they don't watch. This is to the folks that label their TV watching years as some kind of golden era. Hold on now, even in the 50s, not every show could be I Love Lucy or Bonanza. When was the last time you heard anyone say, gee, they should really bring back my mother the car? Never. Same goes to people who believe that the 90s were some magical era. Always remember that Mego aired in 1997. You know, with that cute kid from Jerry Maguire. Yeah, that happened. To those who proclaim that there's nothing good on TV anymore, are you even paying attention? Have you met Tyrion Lannister, Don Draper, or Ron Swanson? Singing Troy and Abed in the morning. And don't think for a second I forgot about the ladies. 
Olivia Pope, Norma Bates, and Claire Underwood would without a doubt be opposite a pants-suited Barbara Walters in one of her fascinating people interviews. You know, were they real? And that's what's amazing about these characters. Although they're distant, completely in another realm of fiction, and separated from the viewer in the glass of a television set or a computer screen, something about them seems real. And suddenly we find ourselves caring about them, wondering what they'll do next, and even making predictions. To those that decry the supposed evils of television, I get it. We're human, our opinions are bound to differ somewhere, but clearly you've never had a show help you out. When I was 12, we moved across country, and I didn't have any friends. Over the summer, I fell in love with television. It gave me solace, and I got passionate. I could rattle off entire episode summaries and trivia better than any Wikipedia article. And I loved that I could do that, because even though I was alone, I still felt connected to something. If not the characters, then the writers who made them. Or the viewers, just like me. To those that say that television is driving people away from each other, I'll tell you that when I was scared to go into middle school, high school, or college, what always helps me bond, break the ice, and make friends, some of which I still talk to nearly after a decade, were the opinions I had on shows like South Park and Scrubs. This is an open letter to people who complain about shows they don't watch. What's wrong with giving a show the three-episode benefit of a doubt? Of letting a program that you might wrinkle your nose at during the program give a defense of itself, speak its piece, and try to convince you? If that doesn't pan out, it doesn't pan out! But at least hear its case or get some evidence before you tear it down. Who knows? You might even feel connected.